Hello, my name is Barbara Denning and I'm a consultant with the Independent Schools team. Our theme for today's Did You Know is managing your entrance exams using SIMS assessments. Assessments is the ideal tool for managing all your entrance exams, being able to record a variety of data and present that data and report on it fully. If SIMS is already in use in your school, it's a very easy system to set up. So let's take a look. So a mark sheet in assessments is very similar to an Excel spreadsheet, but the advantage of using SIMS to record and analyse the marks is the ability to select a new intake group of pupils, which of course is already known to your system. So there's no re-entering of data. And also, once the marks are recorded, if the student does join the school, those marks will stay with them. So on my mark sheet, I've got a column which shows me the names of my new intake group. I've also got other information about them, such as their current age and their previous or current school. I then have two columns where I'm going to record their marks. Now I have already put a lot of marks in here. If I simply finish these marks, uh, my exams are very simple in that I've simply said it's marked on a scale of 0 to 100. So I've entered the remaining marks. I'm going to save that. And then we'll have a look at what else the mark sheet can produce for you. The first thing to notice is that these two columns have formulae sitting behind them. And if I tell the mark sheet to carry out the calculations, I then have two columns, one of which shows me for each pupil the average of their entrance exams and then also their rank position within this group. Now the average, I've also put some colour coding on, very simple that the top 10 candidates are coloured in green, the next 10 candidates are in yellow, and the remainders have a red background. If I save that, then perhaps I want to then sort them by their rank position. So simply by saying that I want to order them in ascending, I can then see the candidates according to their results. I've got two additional columns of information that I may find useful, for example, their age and their previous school. But simply by a right click, I can add more columns if I would find them useful. For example, I might want to show what their current application status is, or I might want to show their date of birth. So all this information has already been entered through registrations and admissions. Once the marks are into the mark sheet, then it may well be convenient to perhaps take it out to Excel, perhaps if you're producing it at some meetings. And so simply by choosing to export the mark sheet, and in this case I'm going to export it unformatted, it will appear in Excel and then is just the same as any other mark sheet, any other spreadsheet in Excel and can be printed, can be edited uh, and presented in any way that you choose. If you do have some experience of assessments, I'm just going to show you very briefly how I set up parts of this mark sheet. First of all, I created uh, some aspects. So I'm just showing you one aspect here, which was the column for the uh, entrance exam for English. And you can see how I defined it as being uh, a value between 0 and 100. So we created an aspect for each column on the mark sheet. And then the next part of the process involves creating a template showing those aspects. Here's my template. The two columns in at the top here, or the two rows at the top, are the fixed columns showing the student's age and their previous school. I then have the four aspects that I created, two where the marks are recorded, and then two columns which calculates the average mark and then their rank position. I then added another column on which allowed me to put some colour coding on the mark sheet. 
Having created the template, I then choose my intake group to display on that mark sheet. And that's simply by going to my group selector. And one of my options here is to select a new intake group. So by ticking my new intake group, that will create the mark sheet that we saw. So this template isn't only good for this particular academic year, but it'll also be available for future years using future intake groups. Thanks for your time today. I hope you found that useful. You can find out a lot more information on our website or through the documentation in the software. And we also run a wide variety of courses which cover all these and other topics.